Hey guys, Jerry the Jeweler here. If you're following along on the Moissanite versus Diamond post on my website, you've already learned that silicon carbide and Moissanite are the same substance. It's one of the hardest substances known to man. In the previous video, you see me take the silicon carbide disc and just cut through a gold wedding band with no problem whatsoever. In this demo, I'm going to take that same silicon carbide disc, bring it up to 20,000 revolutions per minute, and we're going to try to cut a diamond in half with that. Now the diamond's going to be stationary. The only thing moving is that silicon carbide, full torque. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're back at the jeweler's bench. Now here's our silicon carbide disc, AKA moissanite. And in the clamp is a quarter of a carat diamond. So let's bring that uh, disc to 20,000 revs per minute. I'm gonna come in and try to make a nice clean cut against the edge of that diamond. See that dust flying about? It's all over the place. And that's actually, the silicon carbide is just getting pulverized by the diamond, okay? Because the diamond is a, 10 on the Moz scale of hardness versus a 9.25 silicon carbide. There's never going to be a scratch on this diamond. Just, it'll completely pulverize the silicon carbide every time. I hope you enjoyed that little test at the jeweler's bench. When it comes to hardness and you put diamond against silicon carbide, diamond wins. It's just a much harder material. It's always gonna beat silicon carbide. Now, if you're following along on the Moissanite versus Diamond page, the next thing we're going to evaluate is the brilliance and refractive index of Diamond versus Moissanite and see who comes out on top in that test. If you're not following along on the Moissanite versus Diamond page, click the link beneath this video and it'll take you right there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next comparison.